Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Two Brothers on YouTube. I'm one brother. And I'm the second brother. Welcome, everybody. Hey, how you all doing out there? Look, hey. today we're going to be looking at probably the last uh, topic on the money series. We may revisit it later with other, you know, extensions to this topic if and when we need to, because we just think we just should. We've, we've spoken enough about money for now. After this um, topic, and then we'll go on to other things and we may come back. Anyway, the topic for this one is not all money is good money. Mm. What do you think, Mr. Kinley? Wow. Not all money is good money. That is a loaded topic. <laughs> that one is a powerful one because I can just imagine how many people think money, just get the money, don't care, money. you get the money. Yeah. You know, make it. You know, if you can make it, you can get like, you know, a professional contract, get 500 pounds a day, a thousand pounds a day. You've made it, just make the money. Mm. So not all good, all, not all money is good money. Mm. Okay. So let's just take it from, let's take this beast. Let's probably just grab one part of this beast because, you know, the a beast can have a head, a tail, yep. A, yep. a hand, all these things. Let me, let's go from the tail. Mm. And just say that not all money is good money if that money is not going to give you peace of mind. Wow. Mm. <laughs> you get the money, you know, and a lot of people that are watching us might be younger than us and some of people that are age and older and would relate to what I'm about to say about people like Pablo Escobar, you know, uh, people that were in the drug trade, people that, were, that made money illicit ways. What you find out is that at the end of the day, they go through a period of rise and the fall is so bad that they end up either in jail or dead. Mm. Mm. While they've got the money, everything looks amazing. But what is the point? This is how I look at it. It's almost like some money lets you burn your candle of life faster. So say if you say your can your life is a candle and you go for money in certain ways and it it's burns at a rate that you just basically have a fraction of the life that you should have because of the things that you've done. You know? So I'm not trying to say my point here is not even to talk about whether it is good or whether it's the, it is bad. I'm just talking about the consequences. I was talking about uh, the film America Made. And this film basically <laughs> showed, if you've not seen the film, go and watch the film America Made. The guy made so much money, he couldn't put it, put it this way, he was putting it in his wardrobe, he was putting it in his briefcases, he was putting it in his wife's shoebox, he was putting it in their cabinets, he was putting it under their floorboard, he was, after a while, guess what, he, he found a field and he started putting it in the field, he couldn't even spend the money. And like Mr. Claire said the other time, it gets to a point where, when you are making that kind of money, you need to launder it, because you need mm -hmm. to explain where it's coming from. And that now becomes a huge headache. Mr. Claire, what do you yeah. think? Yeah, because... Um, what you said there about peace of mind. Mm. One of my biggest dream is to have financial, full financial freedom, mm. time and money freedom, to do what you want to do when you want to do, and know that you can afford to do it. So whether be it be in one con continent today, and for dinner being in, in another continent just to, ex to enjoy life to the fullest now there's no way you can enjoy life to the fullest if you're always looking over your shoulder so you made you made mention of a drug dealer what comes to mind is corrupt politicians and people that uh you know mess up their names mess up their names mess up their nations everybody knows who they are you know you this 
when they come out of office, they are serious targets. We've seen politicians. Not just them, control. their children. Ooh. And the children now, I mean, there's, there's generations after generation where the children now are now changing their names. Wow. Legally. Wow. They can't be, a, they cannot bear that name. So they have been legal cha name changes. Wow. So that people would not know that they were associated that they are, with that man. Know that they were associated with that family. What kind of money is worth that? You know, now some people, now this is where the disingenuous nature of people come in. Some people, when they have this money, they worship them because of the money. They don't care where the money came from. Okay, blood money, money that I've made by killing people is not, is part of the money we're talking about. That all, not all money is good money because one of the principles of the universe is this. If you shed blood, your blood will be shed. Yeah. So, and it's not Mr. Phil making that rule. No, it's the universe. And one thing about the universe is this. The universe is not even about, I've learned that the universe is not about good or bad. No, the universe is about consequences. Yeah. So, some consequences don't happen just as punishment. No, they're the natural um, progression of what will happen when you take that path. It's exactly. just the way it is. Exactly. It's not even about sin here. It's about consequences. You know, it, it, it's, please. Let it, it, it's here. amazing how when you, I remember when I was younger and, um, you know, I, you know, stole money from my parents or my friends. You know, you still you still a little bit of money. That money doesn't carry value. Mm. It doesn't hold value. Mm. And you know, even what you whatever you spend the money on doesn't give you the kind of joy or lasting joy. Mm. You know, that you would have had if you if the money was gotten in the right way. If you worked for it. If you worked for it. And the word you use there, Mr. Clay, is lasting joy. That is what money can buy. That kind of money cannot buy lasting joy. So again, Mr. Phil is not talking about sin here. Mm. We're not even talking about right or wrong. No, We're talking no. about the natural consequences in the universe. Yeah. So like you said, those, that path actually affects not only the children, but the entire family name. And so more than anything, we're looking at the fact that we have to be honest, though, that not many people have the right value system to really encourage people to do things the right way. What do I mean? With, I didn't really, if I'm honest, I've not really looked deep into his story. But I heard about a guy called Hush Poppy Court was it in Malaysia or Dubai? Somewhere? Dubai, okay. He was caught in Dubai. Honestly, for everyone listening to me, I just, I think I saw a, a, a clip or no, a, a, a news version in, in, in the Sun. It was an article about him. And I didn't even bother reading it because I, I could imagine what it was. They just, I just saw the picture of him in a private jet. I saw the kind of money he was spending. I saw the blah, blah, blah. I knew the story. I didn't even need to read more because I just knew, correct me if I'm wrong, I just knew that this was a guy that when everything was popping, it was popular because he could flash his money. Girls flocked to him. Guys flocked to him. Everybody flocked to him. He spent money. He went to the best places on earth. Everybody knew him. But... <laughs> Now, does anyone want to be hush puppy? No, no. What happened? What about all those people that were spending the money with him? What about all those people that were hailing him when he was on, when he was on, uh, supposedly on top? That should have asked him that, bro. Is this thing gonna end well for you? But guess what? Those people don't care. If we say the truth, even all those women that were following him. 
didn't give a rat ass about him. As long as he's producing the money, who cares about him? Correct. Correct. And because the reason why, you know, we, we, you say that and you say that with such authority is how many people are campaigning for his freedom? How many people are, are talking, still talking about it? He hasn't been that long. He's been locked up and people, or he's been picked up and people are still, it's just like everybody's distancing themselves from him. Thank you. Everybody, that's what everybody knows how to do distance themselves so it's and you know why no one is campaigning for him because no one wants to say uh -huh, so you're part of it Abe. <laughs> <laughs> so you're part of the band, how Abe. much did he give you you too who are you everybody go hey i don't know him oh, hey. see that is this ingenious nature so that when young men are coming i i look there were people before us for people and there will be people be, be after us. Do you know what? This is a very sad one. Some months ago, might be two years now, I saw a video on WhatsApp going around. And it was about a guy that they called a notorious armed robber in Nigeria. And they showed the houses that this guy built. Hmm. They showed the pictures of him with his girlfriends. They showed the cars he drove. Hmm. They, show, they showed the immense wealth that this guy had amassed for himself. He's a young guy. And what I'm saying is sad is this. At the height, they showed how everybody was chopping with the guy. Hmm. But you know, in the end, this is why I say it's so sad. The guy's body was displayed on the floor with bullets, holes. Even his eye was out of his socket. I was looking at that thing and I'm saying, where are all the women that were with him then? Hmm. Honestly, the guy doesn't even look as he doesn't even look as old as 30. So I now ask myself, is it worth it? Mm. Heck, no. Definitely not worth it, Mr. Kinlayer. Well, definitely, when it, when it comes about, is it worth it or not worth it? Is, there's no question about that. That is definitely not worth the, to end for things to start. And, you know, it's not about, you know, they always say, it's not how you, it's not how you start. Mm. Is how you end, you know. Um, we know that this, you know, the, when it comes to money and values, what what I've found is that you you will you work hard to play hard. Mm. You 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 develop yourself. You go all out to get to the point where you you you're working so you can then <clears throat> reap the reward of your hard work or your strategy or whatever you you have in mind now this illicit money is not easily gotten you still have to work hard mm. you still have to put things in place that they say that the best of the drug dealers, if they put that skill into um, a legit a legit company, similar to the the uh, the rappers, the American rappers, you know, in the height of hip, excuse me, in the height of um, hip hop, a lot of them were drug dealers, but then mm. they they translated what they were they they, they business skills into music mm -hmm. and use the music as an avenue to to you know bring themselves forward you know the jay-z's of this world the puff daddies yeah. of this world you know yeah. so yeah. it can be done yeah so what you're saying there is that their strategy is, is not about the money 
it's about you focusing on, okay, if I go this route, would I have the peace of mind at the end? You know, do I, should I, should I pay that price to ensure that I get the right price in the end? Because yes, Ush, Ush Poppy, you know, wish him all the best. He, he, he lives, you know, he, he does his time or whatever not. And you, they will find that the people in the system, are, you know, they're probably making deals with him right now. And it will be forgotten about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he'll, he'll probably be released and he'll be walking the street and nobody will even, he'll look older and maybe have a little, little he'll look a bit different and people will not even know that was Ush Poppy. And in the long run, I can guarantee you another thing. He will not be able to go near any of those things that he has developed his skill in. They've got him now. That means that he cannot even rebuild anymore. And if God help him if he's anywhere in the States or in the developed world, because they will have him locked down. There will be he so may, much, uh, there's so, so, so much little to, he can do. Yes. yes. So he can only probably do talks or 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 you know do, do talks do 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 or do work through proxies you know where he will okay. start he will say you know I can't do it but you guys this is how you can yeah. get done you know and he can yeah. you know bring up the next but what 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 he shows is that he has skill and However, he has ability. He has used it, but he way. did not. He, he did not use it in the in the way. It's not even in the right or wrong ways because it's not about right or wrong. Thank in you. the way that it's got the results that benefits him in the end. Thank you. If there's something that Mr. Kinley said at the beginning. He said that he want, and this is exactly what I want as well. I want wealth that, at the end of the day, I don't have to be looking behind my back all the time. I can relax anywhere in the world. I can travel anywhere in the world. I can do whatever I want to do. And even, you know, you know, coming from Nigeria, now we come from Nigeria, you know, so get ready for the sound effect. What is it? Hey! I'll be like, eh, hey, <laughs> what's, 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 what's the big deal? <laughs> Some people, what is it? Hey, like, hey! Yeah! Because you know. they are so consumed by fear of what they've already done. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know? So when they say, hey, to me, I'll be like, hey, what's going on? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you too? <laughs> They'll be like, ah, okay, we got the wrong person. <laughs> you know, you're better. You know you got the wrong person. But the key is this, though. The key, and that's why we first keep saying that not all money is good money, is that it's not like we have not been offered, myself and Mr. Kinlayer, it's not like we've not been offered the opportunity to make money, fast money. Hmm. But the moment someone says to you, fast money, no, it's not good money. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about that. Because um, I don't know whether to interject this, because I remember <laughs> you were talking about um, designer clothes. Okay. With uh, one, of, one of our, uh, you know, esteemed colleagues, Mr. Zari. Yeah. And because it used to be a model. Yeah, it used to be a model. That got paid to wear designer clothes. Yeah. All of a sudden, if you're not sponsoring him to wear your clothes, he's not, he's not wearing it. No matter how Louis Vuitton you are. Honestly, I see Zari, plain t-shirt. It looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. Plain t-shirt, plain shirt, plain trouser. I was looking at this guy. This guy doesn't have any designer. And he, this guy said, no. Until they pay me, I am wearing it. I'm like, wow, that's an what interesting a, one. What a mindset. What a reality. Like, yeah, because as a job, I used to wear these things when they pay me. So I'm a walking billboard. Why would I be wearing their label if they're not paying me? Now, when people have amassed millions, the only person that, I think the first person I saw that was like a millionaire or billionaire. The mm. never wore designer was Frank, um, the Facebook guy. Okay, um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. That's the one. Yeah, mm. he was the first one that I saw. Like, wow, where, 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 where from? The minute the first money you get, 
You haven't even cleared completely. <laughs> you were friend designer. <laughs> Gucci. No. You will be told. <laughs> ah, they will see you knocking on the door. <laughs> you haven't even got paid polio. <laughs> Going to line up to become an advertisement board for them. You are even for paying that company. them. For that company. You're paying them so that you can become an advert for them. You know, you know, which means that you've you've got your mindset backwards mm. because you don't see yourself as a true value. Mm. Because if, like Mr. Zari, he sees himself, okay, I'm the product. Yes, and whatever I put on my body, I'm advertising your company yes. because people are looking at me to see yes. what I'm doing. and they will wear. ask. Yes. Where do you are, where did you get this? People will look at it on your body and they will say, "Can I get some of that too? Well, how come you look so good? You look amazing. What 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 designer is that? What blah, 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 blah. what are you doing? You're getting revenue to that company. Guess who's not making anything? You. <laughs> exactly. That and that is the way you have to be looking at these things. Mm. You have to say that okay, listen, I'm I'm gonna be a product because if if you're gonna if you're gonna wear anything, it, sh it needs to be your own company. Your it needs to be brand. your own brand. It needs to be what you are bringing to the world. You know, and it needs to be something that, you know, you you because it's a poor man's mentality that you know we're all scrounging for money. Everybody wants money, 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 whether good or bad. No, all money is good money. No, 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 no. Just give me the money first. We'll decide later. Then I'll decide whether it's good you know, or bad. whether it's good or bad. <laughs> let's let's get it. You know, let me get the Mercedes. Let me get the Benz. Let me get the um. Let me get the mansion. You mm. know, then I will let you know whether it's good or bad later. Eh? Mm. You know, we will see. Hmm? But then, when you look, when you look, everybody that has gotten those money and you look at their children, even the rich, let's go there. People that have please, even gotten it right. Please go there. That spend their time to amass the wealth. This is your, you, you actually, you were the fortunate not to be the near. Okay, you made it. We're not belonging. Look at their children. How many stories do you see the children taking it to the next level? Is it not that they're one of the most messed up kids in the, that you've ever come across? Is that not the story you hear? So even you being a billionaire is depriving them of the journey mm. to make something of themselves. You know, it's like, it's like we've got it twisted. You see, I've got, I'm not going to mention their names, but I've got some friends that have come from very wealthy families and unfortunately they're not those families are not wealthy today and the stories that they tell me is sometimes a horror story one was telling me about the person will know which one when i say this story was telling me about at his um maybe 12 13th birthday they went to visit another guy whose parents was very rich. They're all Nigerians, by the way. They were flying out of Nigeria, going to Monaco, going to... This friend of mine, if you're talking about old money and serious lifestyle and know-how, no cuisine, no... Look, this guy is tip-top. He was telling me about 13-year-old parties that they used to have and they would put money in balloons. And, you know, they will go and after the party, they will throw it in this mansion with chandeliers and the balloon will be falling by rain. Um, and each balloon you pop is probably like $100. Mm. Yours. Mm. That's the kids of these people that have money then he would tell me that that same person that did that birthday basically jumped from their balcony to their death. Wow. And the one that is not 
commit suicide is hooked on drugs. The one that is not hooked on drugs, failed marriages upon failed marriages, the, the parents, you know, messed up. Everybody messed up. But they have money. <laughs> If that's the cost of money, then I think one has to really look at one's value system. Mm. So to be honest, I've, it's a very big thing that Mr. Claire has brought up because if you don't have money at all, you think that is the be all and the end all. But when you start that journey, you start realizing that hang on, there are things that are much more valuable than just money. I'll let Mr. Kaleye say a few words, then I'm going to now start talking about the things that are more valuable than just money. Mr. Well, that, 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 that was, that was, you know, because I was just, when you said that, you know, because, you know, we're so, it's like, so many people are so poor. Mm. Poor in mentality. It's not even the money. That is it. Right there. Poor in mentality. And I and I can't blame them. You're right. You know, when I first came from Africa, because I was coming we we're coming from although we came from a rich family, sort of. We were coming I wouldn't to... say we were rich. Sorry, I have to interject. I say we were I w I wouldn't even say we were even comfortable. We were okay. We're, okay, we're okay. Now we're not destitute. Coming, coming yeah, 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 and coming into, you could say, into the Western world, in, and he, he kind of let, you know, he, he was. He a showed that we're really poor. That <laughs> 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 Nigerian standard, we were okay. When we got there, we were poor. <laughs> we couldn't even afford the other OR. We we're just people. We we're just poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the amazing thing is because you don't have mm. when when you see somebody that has, you crave it. Mm. And you want it. And if they give you that thing, then you think, did I really want it? Or is it just because I didn't have it, I wanted it? Mm. You know? Because the reason, when, if, we, if, we say, if I tell you that money is not real, you know, if, if somebody told you that even the money, that whether good or bad, is not even real. It's a phantom of your imagination. It's nothing mm -hmm. tangible. Mm -hmm. It's just your emotions and the way you, you, you feel towards it. Mm -hmm. But if you, if we load your bank account with a million naira now or a million pounds, what would you do? You don't even have a clue. You haven't even thought that far. You don't even know. You just say, well, um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, how much? How much again? How much again? Okay, a million. Okay, okay, okay. Million, million, million. I'll buy a house. I'll buy a car. I'll buy houses. I'll buy my mommy a house. I buy my daddy's house. I buy clothes. I buy this. Okay, okay, okay. You buy bodies. Your million is gone. Okay, let, let's 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 make it billion because you no, 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 no. Let, let's first stop with the million. Okay. Because <laughs> with the million, no, no. That no. million is gone quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there's always a stipulation because no one is gonna go, just give you a million. I've been offered a million before, mm. but guess what they said? The repayment, we we'll go, we're gonna give you a million. But we want it back with interest. Mm. And the repayment is like maybe fifty thousand a month. Wow. Oh, wow. So you can look at it like, okay, I'll take the million, and out of the million, I can be repaying them back for now. Uh-huh. How long hmm. will that happen until you are now in debt for a million? I had to tell them then. I said I wasn't ready. No. I was actually offered a million pounds in loan. Like, bam. And I said, no thanks. <laughs> Lucky because that you said that. The, because the easy part is to get the loan. The harmless part, if you do not have value, 
to create the repayment, then you're in serious trouble. Serious trouble. You're in suicide trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> telling okay, them, no, so sorry, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, no. But you said, you said something that time. I remember, you know, even that time, you said that um, you wanted to give it to the richest person you knew. Mm. That if you, no, no, you said if you were given that money, what you would do is you would take it to the richest person you know. Who's yeah, I said, how do, how do we do, what do we do? Because, you, because money is not really money if there's no structure behind it. So if you're not generating something for, so that's why, a man that is generating value of 10,000 pounds a year, but that value is real value. It's better than a man that is a million pounds, that has a million pounds, but is alone. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because that one is just digging himself a hole. Where that one has positive equity, that one is building negative equity. But it's a million, now it's a million, yeah, but it's a million of trouble. Mm. <laughs> you know, and so as we're talking about not all good money is good money, I hope you're beginning to see. Before I will finish, let me just quickly look good at look look at things that I've always uh, on this journey finally understood is more than money. Some of them you'll be surprised, some of them you will not be. First thing that is more than money is influence. Mm. All the money in the world is in the pocket of who? <clears throat> some human being, somewhere or the other. Yeah. If yeah. you have influence over that human being, you have influence, you have access to that money. Mm. Let me repeat that. Every money on earth is in someone's pocket, is in someone's mm. account, someone's control. Influence is more than money because if you have influence over that person, you have access to that money. Yep. Yeah. Women can relate to that. Thank you. Women are, the <laughs> women are the expert and they will teach you about that. I don't have to be a brain soldier. I just need to marry a brain soldier. I don't, you know, I don't need to develop myself. I just need to find a guy. <laughs> Men learn from women. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Have influence. Hmm. And so it's not only by marrying you. <laughs> <laughs> you can build a network. I have friends that I have mm. influence over. I have friends that have businesses. Friends that have maybe you do, do it by relationships. Yeah, by relationships. You know, say I have. I used to have a friend that had um, um, a travel agency. Yeah, and by influence with him, I used to be able to get cheaper tickets. Mm. As a matter of fact, what I even did with him. I used to get free tickets. And how did I used to get free tickets from him was that I used to bring customers to him. And every customer that come to him, I get a credit yep. towards my next flight. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I bring five, six customers to him that's paid for my next flight to wherever I want to go in the world. That is influence, you know. But it's even it's influence generating influence. That guy till I die, when I call him, like, yeah! Because I'm one of the few people that, that had that. that kind of positive relationship with him. Yeah. Please, Mr. Clare. Yeah. You know, because that, that is so powerful because what I was actually going to say is that even if you were giving the money, the money, and you've, it's just like eating food. The minute you've, you've had the food in your stomach, mm. you're not hungry anymore. So the, all these things that you think you need money, 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 you're not even thinking about what you need for you need money, 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 because you can't pay your basic bills. The minute all that is sorted out and you take that focus, the energy that you're spending on going after money and go after the values that you're talking about, the values, then you will find that, oh, it wasn't about money to begin with. In the first place, it was not about money in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about we're talking about influence. Another thing is living on your own terms. Hmm. Money can't buy that. What does that mean? Hmm. You're not owned. Nobody owns you. You don't owe anybody. And you don't owe anybody. Woo! You're not in debt. Oh. 
Look, ladies and gentlemen, there's some people that are owned. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They have, they are driving Ferraris, Lamborghinis, hmm. things about. They're driving all that about, but they're owned. Some of the Hollywood elites are owned people. Yeah. 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 Even some of you. Even some of you, you know you cannot talk dare talk back to your bosses. Okay. Okay. You no, know you can you have to take whatever it dishes out. Whatever shit. Whether whether, whether whether it's fair, whether it's nice, oh, whether it's, no no whether you, you have to swallow it. Okay. But to be able to live on your own terms, on your own you know, without any permission or, or you know, um, but do I need to ask anybody permission to do anything you want? That is more than money, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Clay. Yeah, because how many of you can, can you say that, okay, if your money was no object, you would still turn up to your work tomorrow? <laughs> you know? Everybody will run. <laughs> if money was no object. So, so that means you are not living the life you should be living. Mm. You are not focusing on yourself enough. Mm. You're working, you're not working hard, like Jim Ron says, work harder on yourself, on yourself than you do on your job. Work harder on yourself, you are the product, than you do on your job. How many hours are you putting into your job? Roughly, seven hours a day. How many hours have I put you into yourself? Into yourself, into your own idea. Oh, no, no, no. You're doing Mr. Phil and Mr. Leia a favor. <laughs> favor. By watching this video. <laughs> because if I don't watch it, obviously. They won't do well. <laughs> they, you know, they need me to watch the video. <laughs> after all, they need me to subscribe now. Mr. Kinnair is going to force me to Mr. Kinnair is going to force me to talk about one of my mentors. We're going to do a separate men, um, video about our mentors. One of our mentors, his name is Simon. I'm not going to say his surname mm -hmm. so that we don't dox him. I've not seen Simon now for over 20 something years. But I'll tell you about Simon. Look, when I was with Simon, he was the picture of the perfect bachelor. White brother drives Merc. It will yep. change from one Merc to another Merc. Latest, latest in the range. Latest ranges of Merc. Maca, a Maca, you know. Simon had it. Hmm. He had a, sem I think it was a three bedroom semi detached in Kent. Beautiful, beautiful then, house. Beautiful. Beautiful house. He was in his 30s when he met, when he met us. So he was not even married then. He was the eligible bachelor, even for a white brother standard. Mm -hmm. He was already a director in sales. Yeah. And here he was befriending me. Just came off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing we had in common was personal development. Mm. He was on his journey and he invited me on the journey. And the only thing I had to go on the journey with him was the books he was giving me. <laughs> Nothing more. The book I was reading was the book he was reading. <laughs> and it got to a point where he never, even though he could afford to even say, you know what, Mr. Phil, I will give put you on a retainer. I would give you monthly allowance. <laughs> that was my friendship. He took me as an equal from day one, even yeah. though, he, though he knew I didn't have his resources. How do I know he did that? This is for all you guys in Nigeria. I knew he had more than me. To the point that even people were looking at me and looking at him and saying, How does, how does this work? <laughs> <laughs> because when I spoke to Simon, I was speaking to, him, speaking to him as an equal. Even though the only thing I had was a shoe. <laughs> this guy had Mercedes Benz houses. He was, he, he was like James Bond. Mm. Because I remember he even bought that BMW that James Bond 
was using in one of his you know that to, mm. to start BMW, you know, the small one. I know he packed it in his garage in his in his half a million barn conversion. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I, 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 I think you visited yeah, that barn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very okay. Well. okay. But never did Simon treat me like he was superior to me or he was no 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 no. He saw me as someone on the journey that will get to where he's, he's gotten to. It's just a matter of time. So pass. And that is how we dealt with each other. They used to tell, they used to tell us then, then that time that you will surpass where I'm at. The, what, what you're seeing here is nothing. But where you guys, if I saw, if I saw what you're seeing at your age, you mm. know, it shows that you would, be gone, you would have gone past me mm. by the time you get to my age. Hmm. And Simon dealt with us on that level. Now, I knew he had much more money than I could ever even imagine at that point. But I knew never to ask him for money. Hmm. I knew when whenever we go out for restaurants and I cannot afford that restaurant, I will tell him because sometimes he forgets. I'm like, oh, Simon, uh, sorry, I can't afford that restaurant. <laughs> it never was a case of oh I will pay for you, Mr. No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, Simon used to come and pick us up. He used to say, say we had meeting in Coventry, and Coventry is that way. But Simon lives here and he can go to Coventry that way. And I live there. Simon will come and come and pick me up. To come and pass his own house so that we can go to Camp Coventry. Yeah. Yeah. And he did that year after year until I had to say, uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, I will... yeah. I remember, I remember it was you that said it that day that, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, meet, we'll meet you there. We'll meet you there. I was like, you mad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet you there. I'm so glad that Ilea, you said that because I could remember you saying something like that. Like, ah, Mr. Phil, why are you saying? Tell me like, what's going on. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I grew to a point that no, 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 no. This guy cannot be coming out of his way an hour to come and pick us up to go to another three hour journey when he could, when the journey is just two hours for him. So, and if we got trained, which we ended up started doing, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we soon found our level. <laughs> you know, we, we started taking train to meet him. But guess what? Mm. He respected that. Mm. We went from people that he had to be picking up to people that told him, "No, don't worry, we'll we'll find our way there." To people that rented cars, yeah, to go because the first one car we drove was rented. Yeah. To the people that actually bought car, our own cars, you know, you know, and started going ourselves, you know, what to the people that had one car between all of us, you know, to the people that each one of us now had had our, own, our own cars, our own cars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. to the point that yes. which one of us had our own properties, our own house, and the addresses, and you know, yep. each one of us had our yep. own setup. Yep. To the point that we did not need Simon anymore. To the point that we were even dropping stuff for him. You know, he was saying, you know, guys, can you, you know, pick somebody up for me? Or, you know, can, where, you, can you, can you, which way are you coming from? Can you help us? You know? Of course! Because I, I remember what he did for us. Now, we've said all that to, I've said all that to say this. What if Simon has, has, taking another route and started paying for me from day one. Hmm. I will not be the man I am today. Hmm. And who's the man that I am today? A man that doesn't need him hmm. anymore. Hmm. That's what personal development is all about. Hmm. If what we're doing is teaching you to rely on us, then we're doing you the greatest disservice. Disservice. Hmm. Which is, the, which is the, being the child of a billionaire. Being the child of a millionaire. We've all heard that thing. We've all heard that thing. Give a man a fish, you feed him for one day. But teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. You see, we've all heard it. Like, give a man a fish, you feed him for one day. Uh, give a man. <laughs> uh, 
But we're not hearing it. No. Because when the push comes to the shove, each person, most of you will say, give, just give me the fish. Yep. So it means that you are hearing these things, but you're not hearing it. When I got with Simon, and he said, Mr. Phil, I ain't giving you a fish. I want to teach you how to fish. I said, right on, brother. And even when he forgot sometimes, and he was chewing, and he was, he was going to I said, no, I don't want your fish. <laughs> that wasn't the deal. That wasn't the deal. I need to know how to fish myself. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how I am okay today. I've not seen Simon for 21 years. But the legacy goes on. Amen. It's touching hundreds and hundreds of people. Changed my life. Changed my network's life. I have now become the person that is running his own program now. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. of that legacy. My own brand because you know. of that legacy. There's no other way. Mr. Claire. That's it. The journey goes on. The journey goes on. The journey goes on. Don't be don't be clouded by your immediate surroundings. You're on a journey. Don't think that oh these guys have it all. I don't have nothing. It's easy for them. It's to easy talk. for them. Guess what? I could have easily look, look, look. That time when I was with Simon, I used to be in his brand new, sometimes minted beautiful, Mercedes beautiful leather interior. The smell. And the women used to come around. And I'll yep. be sitting in the passenger seat. And they will see this black guy. And they will look at this Simon and like you can hear it all over their body. What are you doing with this black guy? <laughs> and they will see how Simon was interacting with me. That Simon was interacting with me as an equal uh, comrade. Yep. And those women will feel very threatened. Yeah, they used to feel very threatened because they used to think, "What's between these two guys? What's going on here?" This guy has got a uh, half a million pound bank conversion. This guy lives in a castle flat. <laughs> At best. <laughs> <laughs> but when they're communicating, they're communicating as, as equals. Do you think that didn't force me to grow? Hmm. Did you think that didn't make me know my own value? Hmm. That is what we're offering you guys. So don't look at us and say, oh, they're in London, they've got it all. Look, we're saying we've experienced what you might be experiencing now. Thinking that, not once did I, and I'll tell you, maybe this is where, not once did I envy Simon for his car. Not once did I envy, oh yeah, the temptation was there, but I chose not to. And guess what? All those Mercedes Benz now, if I want any of them, I can get them tonight if I want. That's right. All those Mercedes Benz, that house, I know how to get them tonight if I want. But like Mr. Claire said, once you get them, you got to pay the price. <laughs> <laughs> but if the push comes up, I can get them tonight. Is it? I know, I know what the steps are to get even that half a million bank conversion. If I want it tonight, there's just some people that you have to go and sign on the dotted line. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not, it's, it's not, it's not so far fetched out of the reality. You know, which is, you know, so I even have a product and a brand. And you even know, you always talk about designing your life. Thank you. And when you're designing your life, you're designing in a way that gives you gives you the least amount of stress. Thank you. You know. Thank you. And this is what happens. Let me tell you guys. Maybe we we'll end here. Let me tell you. Mm. I'm, I'm, maybe Mister Claire has something else to say. But let me tell you about this story. I I used to live in a council flat, and I used to take my children to school. And there was this guy. Brings his children to school as well. I, I didn't say hello to him. He didn't say hello to me too. Then one day, I was walking towards the school, and the guy was parked 
in this very long, furious car. You can you know that? Look, if this guy, is, if it's this guy's guy, car, this guy has gone to do some serious loan. <laughs> and as I was working, there was nothing said between us, but I could say he wanted me to acknowledge him in the car. You like not see me now. Thank you. And as I was walking towards the car, I'm like, no, I don't, I'm not going to see you because what has that got to do with the price of bread in China that you're going to get a car that you can't afford to impress people that, that don't matter? <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> don't know you. <laughs> Mr. Kinley, when I walked past this car guy and the guy saw that I didn't look at him, if you look at him, I saw at the corner of my eye the kind of look of hatred the guy used <laughs> yeah. to look at me. Then it dawned on me. That was the only joy he was looking forward to. <laughs> that was the only um, reward he was looking for to go and get that kind of debt. So that guys would look at me and say, oh yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, Lord. Hey, hey. So for the guy that actually understands the difference between good debt and bad debt. Thank you. And I'm seeing the <clears throat> bad debt right in front of me because I've actually dealt with loans. I've actually dealt with mortgages. And I've and a car is a depreciating asset from the first day you <laughs> walk. From the first day to the last day. <laughs> a car is always a depreciating asset. It's not even a asset self. It's not even wrong. <laughs> a depreciating liability. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy doesn't get it. So I just realized that, you see, if you're going to go and put yourself into financial stress mm. just to impress people mm. around you, you've mm. missed it already. People that don't care, people that don't matter. Mm. Like Mr. Clare said, I've, I've chosen the other route. I design my life. I've chosen to design my life in a way that I know the value I'm enjoying. People don't need to know. Yeah, yeah, that's the key. That's the they key right there. Know what I'm enjoying. In fact, you have to hide it from people. Thank you. They don't need to know what I'm enjoying. And, <laughs> and that is why you see people that really have money don't have to display it. Like Mr. Clare. Over. That's it. You like you said. You know, you have to. You don't have to show anybody how much you have, because most most people don't have. <laughs> they are pretending to have. So when oh. you truly have, you can just be yourself and even actually down tone, tone it down deliberately, tone it down. You know, because true value. Is you? Hey, okay. that's that's what. I, let's, otherwise, this video will be one long. Yeah, video. Let's, let's, let's round it off and just say that. You see, um, on that note, you are the true value. If we're gonna compare anything, let us compare personal development levels. Mm, yes, journeys. Let us compare personal development journeys, mm. not trappings. Yes. That's the, that new, that's the that's new that's the new measuring to, rod. Thank you. If you want to have that's the new um, measuring rod. Talk to me. That. If you want to impress me. Show me your personal growth. Show me this is what's me last month. This is now what I'm able to do this month. You know, I wasn't able to talk to people before. Now I'm able to talk to people. I'm able to come. Now I'm impressed. I wasn't able to do, I wasn't able to give a speech before, but now I'm able to deliver a speech. Now I'm impressed. You know, I wasn't able to come up with a value before, but look at this idea I'm working yeah. on. And now I'm impressed. I wasn't able to see myself, you know, improve my circumstance. But this is what I, these are the steps I've taken to improve my circumstance to make sure. Now I'm impressed. Not that oh, I've I've gone to here is money. I can and I can travel and I can do this too. Blah, 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 blah. Because, Ooh. sorry, sorry, Please. I have to say this. Please. Because you're cheating yourself. Where's the, where's the camera? Let me look into the camera. You're cheating yourself by buying somebody else's value. 
Somebody has gone to refine that watch. Somebody has gone to refine that car. Somebody has gone to do this. So you get a loan to buy that value and then put it on yourself to look good. To look good. How, can that, how is that lasting? Okay, you tell me how does that make sense? Mr. Claire, I have to say this because this is so important. You see, how ridiculous. Now, don't get me wrong. Mercedes is good. Lexus is great. Lamborghini is wonderful. Mm. All of them. But let's look at it. Ha look, I don't mind an African buying any of this for his own pleasure. Mm. Buy it for his own pleasure. I desire to have it and I've had it. The challenge I have is when that same African wants to show off, he now goes and gets a German product. <laughs> and now requires a German product as proof that he is successful as an African. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? How does that make sense? The, oh, he wants to show off now. He wants to show that he has arrived. He now goes and buy an Italian product. <laughs> To show that he has arrived and he's doing well. Like I said, him buying it for his own pleasure to, to enjoy it because he likes it, I have no issues with that. The issue I have is him now using it to try to oppress or show off his own success with someone else's product. With someone. So, how stupid does he think he looks when a German looks at him and says, that's our like product. You know, that's uh, no. Actually, you just made me money. Yeah. Thank that's you, bro. Carry Why on. You want to oppress me with my own product? You just paid for my schools, that's for my, my children. You just, you just paid for my children's school fees. Thank you. You just paid for my new next house. Thanks. You just paid for my next holiday. In Nigeria, they say oppressor, 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 oppressor. That kind of mindset is mind is crazy. So, if people want to get this high value products for their own pleasure and enjoy it for themselves, beautiful. But the moment you want to use that as the yardstick hmm. that you arrived, <laughs> <laughs> you just unfortunately exposed yourself. That's, That's, it. It. That's it. Okay. That's it. On that note, this is where we end that not all money is good money. Hmm. Take it away, Mr. Claire. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. God bless. God bless.